Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Finally, finally, we get some information on what kind of uh, warships are in the Black Sea. So far, we've been updated about the Russians' uh, warships and submarines almost every day. And I wondered a few times how many British warships are in the Black Sea, how many American warships are in the Black Sea, or and how many submarines are in the Black Sea. I can't believe there's none. Well, thanks to the Jerusalem Post, we found out at least what's going on today over there. So let's see. This is an article coming from my friends from the Jerusalem Post. It is from uh, February 7th, 2023. This is the title. U.S. warship operates in Black Sea in first instance since Russian invasion of Ukraine. The U.S. warship visited Turkey, a NATO country along the Black Sea, that has maintained a strong relationship with Russia. Now, let's um, do a little bit of geography. So we make sure that you know we're not talking uh, smack here. So I'm going to start with uh, with the world map, okay? So let's go with this. I'm going to start with the continents. I don't do this to insult anybody, but it's always good to uh, see what's what and who's who. So here is North America, uh, and this area is uh, where the ship uh, comes from, and the Black Sea is right here in Europe, right here between this. Uh, blue and this mustard color right there that's the black sea this is the mediterranean sea this is the Aegean sea okay this is the caspian sea here the sea of azov over there so this ship came from here went through the uh, gibraltar straight into the atlantic uh, atlantic ocean to the mediterranean sea went to the Aegean sea right here then went over there and i'm going to do it differently, hop, so we can uh, see who's who, what, what's what. United States went here, pam pam pam, and went to the Black Sea right here. It's kind of kind of a distance for a country that uh, you know doesn't have any imperialistic uh, aspirations. On the other hand, Russia has aspiration, imperialistic aspirations, you know, operating in this area. But this one, no, no. All right, well, I got the European map here, the Europe's map. So the ship that came, came from the Atlantic Ocean, from here, Gibraltar, Mediterranean, Ram, Pam, 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 Aegean Sea, and then it went here to the Dardanelles Strait with the permission of Turkey. Then we went through uh, uh, Bosphorus uh, Strait into the Black Sea. All right, we got it so far. Now here, this is Crimea where Russia operates here. This is where the war is in this area right here. And this is Russia, the green part here. That's Ukraine here. And this ship, warship, just somehow arrived here, probably to this port of Constanza, which is in Romania. I know they do that. So I'm 100% certain that that ship is gonna anchor right here. So you wonder what's going on here? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out. Maybe the uh, Jerusalem Post will tell us. So let's see what Jerusalem Post has to say. Now this is uh, U.S. Navy guided missile destroyer USS Nitze. All right. So uh, I don't know if this is the one coming here. I'm trying to read here. No, it's not. But maybe when we read here, oh, that's the one. <laughs> so this is the the the, the destroyer. The Guided Missile Destroyer, USS Nitze, and the Guided Missile Cruiser, USS Late Gulf, whatever. So, that's a little thing over there, I don't know what it is over there doing what, but this is the one. Now we know. A United States warship, a destroyer named USS Nitze, was seen, I will, I will not say Nitze, Nitze, was seen to be operating in the Black Sea. This is the closest a U.S. warship has been to Russia since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began. Nitze operates as part of the George, du uh, George Herbert W. Bush <laughs> uh, Carrier Strike Group. 
The ship entered the... Oh, so we have more than one then? We'll see. The ship entered the region and visited Turkey on February 3rd, which was confirmed on the Twitter account of the USS Navy 6th Fleet. This is the, uh, how do you call it, confirmation, I guess. All right. So this is the whole article about a U.S. ship, Navy ship, destroyer, right? Operating in the Black Sea right here. Now, why do you think it's here? Just to measure the depth of the Black Sea or what? Again, I can go here and we can figure out how that little thing got here from here. Across the Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, Aegean Sea, Black Sea. But remember, Russia has imperialistic aspirations because it's in their nature, uh, mass media said so. But these guys here? No. I think they are here just because they are the forces of good opposing the vo forces of bad. I think that's what it is. What do you think? Hmm? So, let's go back here. Remember, this is one warship that we know of. I wonder how many submarines are over there. I guarantee you, no, I don't want to say guarantee you, but I'm 99% certain that there are submarines over there and there are plenty of submarines of many countries. I don't think it's only the US who has over there a, uh, a submarine. I think it's the Great Britain, probably Germany, if you has anything, France, and who knows what. Israel, I know they have German submarines, <laughs> but the Germans don't have their submarines or something like it. It was a, an article I read, I don't know, a few years ago that uh, <laughs> was awful. But anyway, this is, uh, can you call this an escalation? Nah, no, because the United States does it. Uh, do you think uh, accidents can happen? Nah. What if they happen? Nah. <laughs> so, uh, very interesting and I'm glad that we got the point where, I'm glad, not that I'm celebrating with wine or anything, but uh, it just confirmed something I've been saying for some time already. I said it a few times at the beginning, I said, and whenever I was making the videos regarding the Russian fleet in the Black Sea, when are we going to hear about the American Navy or the Royal Navy of Great Britain being in the Black Sea. Voila! And I don't think that this is the only one over there. And if this is the only one, I bet more will follow. And uh, okay, let's put it differently. I don't care about this ship. I care about the submarines. Not this ship. Everybody can see it, track it, blah, blah, blah. blah. Submarines are a little bit different. And uh, Russia, I know, in the Black Sea had no more than, what, six submarines since I've been making these videos on the Ukraine war. So, I don't know how many of uh, NATO member states' submarines are located there. Um, you, talk about, you, you think that the accident will be on the know, terrestrial side or whatever, the terrain, on the land? Something can happen over there if it didn't happen yet and we don't know it yet. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Unfortunately, stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.